Hey guys, Mel Button here. Today I'm bringing you my final impressions video for the Tier 8 American Premium Battleship Alabama. And before we get going, let me show you my module setup. I have I'm Not the Hood, uh, Damage Con 1, AA Mod 2, Damage Con 3, and Concealment. And then for the Captain Skills, I have. Come on in, game me. Click on the Captain. There we go. I have Preventive Maintenance, MLG Turts. BFT and AFT because of course the A on this ship is amazing. So, t final impressions for this ship. It's not a bad ship, but it's not a good ship. It's it's kind of underwhelming. Maybe is the word I'm trying to to uh, you, to find here because you see it's. Got it, the armor is a little bit thicker than the American Tier 8 North Carolina. It's a little bit thicker so you can show a little bit more of your broadside and get more guns on target. However, it has a worse Sigma than North Carolina. At least, it certainly feels like it does. And in game, you'll cert you're certainly be finding that to be true because as you see here in a moment I'm firing at target 16 15 kilometers away which it's not really that far by tier 8 9 and 10 standards because I mean there's if anyone tells you that you won't be in a mini ten tier 10 games in a tier 8 they're lying to you because honestly like 7 7 out of 10 maybe even 8 out of 10 times you will be in a tier 10 game in a tier 8 which makes it uh it's it's the thing about not just this ship but all tier 8 premiums they find themselves in a weird spot because it the ship has to be balanced to where it performs well at tier 10 but not to where it just dominates at tier 8 because you know if it performs well at tier 10 like really good it's going to destroy everything else at tier 8 and below because tier 8 ships they can see up to tier 10 games and they can see potentially down to tier 6 games uh, well not tier 6 games but tier 6 ships so you know that's a wad that a wad <laughs> that's a wide um, stretch of uh, tiers that it they can cut that they can see but honestly most of the time you're going to get up to, to tier 10 every once in a while you might get down tiered to uh, a game with tier 6 ships in it. But anyway, back to the uh, Alabama herself. Okay, so the Alabama Strong Suit is most definitely her AA and her torpedo protection. She has 55% torpedo damage reduction, which is amazing. And her AA, if you build for it, is absolutely god, to y god tier. You will just... Tier 8 um, carriers, you... <laughs> You don't even have to worry about them because unless they just absolutely focus on you, you're going to shoot down most of the planes they get set. Oh, and look at these gun arms here. Look at that. I'm going to shoot over that island. Couldn't do that in a German battleship. Um, uh, t tier 8 carriers, again, you won't even have to really worry about them unless, you know. The thing about AA, it can, the mounts can be burned off by HE. So, as long as most of your AA is intact, you won't have to worry about Tier 8 carriers. Same goes for Tier 9. Uh, tier 10 carriers, I mean, they are the ones that will be able to get through your AA and get some hits on you. But, they're going to lose most of their planes in the process. And, even if they do get dive bombers through to you, not dive bombers, um, torpedo bombs through to you, you do have that really nice torpedo damage reduction that will take care of most of that damage. So with that high torpedo damage, uh, torpedo damage reduction, I would definitely say this is a ship you want to kind of get in close with, because because of the the, the dispersion, and uh, you've probably seen me take a couple of shots of some ships that weren't really that far away, and I did miss a lot of shots, which you know it's not odd that I'm missing the shots, but it's odd that I'm missing the shots because American battleships usually have the most accurate guns. I mean, go look at an Iowa and a Montana's dispersion. It's like friggin' railgun accurate compared to the other tier 9 and 10 ships. 
Let's see, I'm about to take a torpedo here, and boop, doesn't even do that much damage. Um, I think it might have, I'm not even sure if that even hit all of the torpedo um, protection. It might have just clipped a little bit of it, but anyway, it didn't really even do that much damage to me, and no flooding. Yeah, it didn't flood, so it hit the, um, hit the torpedo protection. Anyway, um, yeah, the guns, uh, again, they're not accurate by American standards, but, you know, it's kind of like, okay, well then, get in close with it. And, yeah, you can get in close with it, but at tier 10 games, close doesn't happen until, like, I don't know, 5 minutes left in the match, 10 minutes left in the match, if that. Because the, the first, I would say the first 7, 8, 9 minutes of a super blit to you, Mosva. <laughs> yeah, that was really nice, though. I because he set three fires on me, then I just deleted him. That was nice. But as you see there, they're not totally inaccurate. They're just less accurate than most American guns. Which, you know, okay, fine, that's balanced. Um, but like I was saying, most tier 10 games, you don't get... It doesn't get close until well, well after the halfway point. So it's going to be frustrating. You're going to be sitting in the back, you know, just trying to take out some cruisers, some destroyers, you know, maybe farm some damage on some battleships, and most of your shots will probably be missing, whereas if you were in the North Carolina, you'd be hitting a lot more shots. But again, they are 16-inch guns, so when they hit, they do hit pretty dang hard. Um, and uh, like I said, you can get in close with her. She's pretty good at close range. Just don't be expecting a whole lot from her secondaries, because her secondaries... They're there, but they're not like German or French secondaries, which I mean is, a, is again a part of the balancing. And um, if you want a ship like this with good secondaries, or if you think about getting the ship and get it going into close range with it, um, like like I'm talking about like you don't have the ship yet, you haven't purchased the ship yet, and you're thinking, well, okay, he said it's good for close range. It. I'll go ahead and get it. Hold up. Don't get it yet because the Massachusetts, which I'm assuming is going to be coming out sometime soon since they've been testing it a lot more, it has. Its secondaries have a base range of 7.5 kilometers. Throw a secondary build on there, I think you can get it up to around 9 or 10. So far, that may change. That's just what I've seen so far. So if you're looking for a secondary American battleship, you want to may want to hold up until the Massachusetts come out, comes out. Um, so, would I recommend this ship? Uh, I mean, if you're using it for ranked, I would say, yeah, go ahead, because, you know, if ranked's tier 8, it'd be pretty good at that. You know, and from what I've heard, it is pretty good at that. But, oh, this is funny, real, that Turpitz is at 40 something health, and a, <laughs> and a Benson just popped him once. Um, should you get it? It depends. If you are the type of battleship player that like hangs back with his team and likes to support his team, like say you want you just want to you roll with your team, you roll with a group of cruisers. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect for that. The AA is great for that, and um, it's really tanky. I gotta give it to it there. It's really freaking tanky. You know, you can bow tank on this thing all day um, until you get set on fire four times and then you're gonna burn to death. But it's pretty tanky, and it's pretty good at close range and the dispersion isn't great but it's consistent like that's what I was talking about with the Roma Roma's dispersion is and it's by no means consistent Alabama's dispersion is nice and consistent you'll get the nice it, it'll be about the same spread each time at whatever range you're shooting at so it's got that going for it um, like I said, it's really tanky, great AA, so if you're rolling with your team, providing AA cover, whatever group you're rolling with should be pretty much untouchable by carriers. The other thing is, too, so if you're that type of player, yeah, go for it. Now, if you're more of the lone wolf brawling type, no, don't go for it. Because while it can brawl the Massachusetts, which is pretty much the same thing but with better secondaries, is should be coming out pretty soon from what I've been seeing. So I'll hold off until that happens. Now, if you're just like a person like me, you kind of um, aggressive 
more of an aggressive battleship player, I wouldn't get this. I would get the turrets. Um, but it can't do this. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, which something like the gas cone probably would have overpinned it from that close. But it, it's it's really a hard call because, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's good, but it's not great, but it's not bad. It's kind of I don't want to say mad because it's not mad because you can have pretty great games in this. And I've had many great games in this ship, but it kind of feels just like a North Carolina with AA. And the thing about the AA is, is right now you don't need that much AA because you may see a carrier like at tier 8, I don't know. Since you get up tiered so much, not that often. But if you get down tiered, no, not really down tiered, but if you're like tier 8 battles, you may catch a couple. However, with the carrier we work coming, we may be seeing a resurgence of carrier players in which this ship will become much more effective. So that's that's where it's at, you know? It's a hard call for me to say. If you're if you if you play the battleships in a support style, yeah, go for it. If you're a, if you're an aggressive battleship, don't go for it. Because if someone catches your sides in this thing, you're just done. Like you will get deleted. If a battle if a battleship catches your sides, catches you just full broadside on, you're gonna lose most of your health if not get deleted. Um but if and if you're a brawler, I would hold up until the Massachusetts come out or just get the turrets. Because as far as premium ships goes, turrets is the best brawling battleship. So that that's my final impressions of the ship. Well not a bad ship, it's not a very good ship but it is still a good ship and if you're just looking to collect the ship yeah go ahead you're probably gonna buy it anyway but if it's just on sale you know and you just got the money to spend I wouldn't advise against it it's not a bad buy but it's not like amazing you know you get what I'm saying like turpits is amazing I love the turpits because it's a Bismarck with torpedoes turpits is what I would call amazing this as for the, t the tier 8 battleships that I've played, it's definitely Tirpitz, Gascon, Alabama, and then Roma. And there's a far gap between Alabama and Roma. <laughs> but anyway guys, that's my final impressions for the Alabama. If you liked the video, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll push to 200 subscribers. And people subscribing, let me know that they want me to keep doing what I am doing. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video.